I've just been wanting to say this for so long. I really, really, really have. There is so much hate on YouTube within the African American community. I mean, there is such a he versus she thing happening on YouTube amongst black people. And I'm so sad for us. Like I'm, I'm so sad for us, y'all. We got like a black president. I don't know if you found out, but we got like a, bra a black president. We've got like, we're kind of running the show right now in the US. And yet we're here playing these stupid games with each other. You know, this stupid like, I hate you games. I hate you black woman, you're trifling. And I hate you black man, you're trifling. And I'm only going to be with people who aren't black because you're trifling so bad. Or I'm only going to be with black women who are super, 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 super just they go through all these hoops to prove just how black they are. I'm only going to be with a man who does, you know, backflips and cures cancer and proves to prove how black he is. You know what I mean? It's like we have all these random expectations of each other. And I just feel like in this day and age, when we have so much going for ourselves, can't we just love each other? I mean, can't we just be nice? You know, is there nothing good we can think to say about each other? I mean, we're so diverse as a people. We've been begging other groups that aren't black for generations now to not box us in, to not treat us as if we're just one brand of black. You know, we're, we are, from one black person to the next, so diverse, all the way down the line and back again. We all think differently, we believe differently, we relate to people differently, we speak differently, we're from different parts of the U.S. Some of us are from Alaska, some from Hawaii, some of us are from protectorates like Puerto Rico, some of us come from, you know, Florida, some of us come from Arizona, some of us come from Idaho, Montana, we've got people from all over the place, like all over the place, New York, Los Angeles, I mean, we're, we're, we're coming from the Pacific North, I and mean, we're coming from everywhere. All those people, we can't possibly all think the same. We can't possibly all view life the same. We're all going to be experiencing things differently. So we can't judge each other on silly things like what kind of music we listen to or what faith we are or who we choose to marry and date. I mean, we can't judge each other on that stuff. Although, I do have something to say about the whole dating thing. Obviously not an issue for me because I'm married happily. Very happily. But um, what I will say is Y'all who are walking around in the black community saying, I prefer to only date somebody who is not black. That's crazy. Because seriously, think about it. Like, we come in everything. We're the only ethnic group on this planet that literally, phenotypically can represent for all ethnic groups. We have black people who look straight up Native American, straight up Asian, straight up East Indian. We've got black people who look straight up white. So if you're one of those black people running around, male or female, I'm only going to date white people. I'm only going to date black people. I'm sorry, not that. Not that. That makes sense. But if I'm only going to date white people or I'm only going to, you know, whether you're a man or a female, I'm only going to date white women or only white men. Well, then what do you do with people like Wentworth Miller? You know? Or like this guy in American Idol. You know, this, what's his name, Matt Gerard or whatever, who's got like a half black mom. What do you do with someone like that? These are black guys who look white. So are they eliminated? Are they white enough to be considered someone you might date? Or what do you do with someone like, you know, Rashida Jones or someone like um, Mariah Carey or someone like, you know, oh, Victoria Wilde has a daughter who's like blonde hair, blue eyes. She, she doesn't even look like she's got a drop of black blood. But her mom's half black. So what do you do with someone like that? Are they black enough? I'm sorry. Take that back. Are they white enough? You know what I mean? Like, it's so silly. We're, like, sweating the small stuff. Black people, we can't say we prefer to date only non-black people because technically we can find them in whatever it is we like physically. You want blonde hair? We got that. You want black? You want, you know, a black booty? We got that. You want pale skin? We got that. You want, you know, blue eyes? We got it. We got everything. We've got everything any other ethnic group has. You want eyes that are occidental? We got occidental eyes. I mean, whatever you're interested in, we got it in the black community. There's really no reason to leave the black community in order, you know, based solely on preferences. 
So that's the only issue I have. I do have an issue with that whole preference thing. If you happen to fall in love with an individual who's not black, more power to you, because love is hard. And it's really hard to come by. And if you can get it, get it, because love is good. As someone who has, like, love, who is in love, it's the best. And I would never want anybody to go without it, ever. And for all of you guys who are hurting, you know, especially those preference people, because I really feel like there's, like, some hurt or something underneath. Like, maybe your daddy hurts you, and that's why you only want to be with white men. Or maybe your mama hurts you, and that's why you only want to be with white women, you know, like, I don't know, or maybe somebody called you big lip, or said you were too dark, or something, and teased you in school, I don't know, but it just feels like there's a, a layer of, I'm going to get you, under that whole, I'm only going to date one thing versus another, and I guess I just want to say, on behalf of all those people who hurt you, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry they hurt you, I'm sorry you had to go through that, I'm sorry you had to experience that, and I hope you can forgive them. And I hope at the very least, even if you can't forgive them, that you can stop making the rest of black people pay for the pain that that black woman caused you, or those black women caused you. You know, Let's not make all black women pay for a few scandalous black women. And let's not make all black men pay for a few trifling brothers. Let, let's not do that. Because there are amazing black men out there. You know, I love, literally, my brothers. I love my big, my, my big daddy. I love my, my uncles. I love them. I love them. They're awesome men. Beautiful, awesome black men. Good black men. I personally know good black men in my family, friends. They're out there. They exist. We don't have to hate them, you know. And if you happen to be in love with someone who's, like I said before, of a different race, that's fine. No, no issues there. And can we stop judging each other on that? You don't know how come people hooked up with who they hooked up with. You don't know what they went through to get to where they were. So let's not judge each other on that either. You know? But black love is beautiful. We don't have to downplay the beauty of black love because of the relationships we're in. You know, I love seeing my grandparents together. They're phenomenal. I love seeing my brother and his wife together. They're beautiful. You know? I love everything about it. Black love is phenomenal. You know? And whether it's, you know, the, the kind of intimate, romantic love or just the love from a brother and a sister. You know? And I just want to say to all of you today, I don't know what kind of day you've had, but black women, you're fierce, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're phenomenal, whether your hair is natural or straight. You're great. And you were made wonderfully. And I just want you to know that. And I hope you have a great weekend this weekend. And if nobody says anything good to you, you can say that this girl on quadruple O P ninety five said that you were special. And it's just the truth. And if you're a black man this week and nobody's told you, I'm going to tell you, you're amazing. You're beautiful. You're handsome. You're great. And you got it going on. And I know life can be hard. But you know what? You can handle it. You were handpicked to come in this shade. God knew what he was doing. And it's perfect. And you're awesome. Go and live a happy life this weekend. And if for all of us, can we just make sure we, we love a black person? Just hug a black person this week. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, find somebody in your life who's precious to you and just tell them how much you love them. Encourage a brother this week. Encourage a sister this week. Can we just have some black love just this weekend? And then on Monday, we can get back to hating each other. No, actually, I'd rather we wouldn't ever get back to hating each other. But this is a very long video. I apologize for that. But... I just love us, and I'm tired of all the crap I'm seeing on YouTube about how we treat each other. It'd be really nice if we could just be nice and have grace for all of our differences, all of them. I love you. I love you regardless of what faith you're coming from or lack thereof, and regardless of who you choose to be married to, and regardless of what kind of music you listen to, or regardless of whether you're pierced and tattooed, or whether you're straight lace, or whether you're, you know, coming from the hood, or coming from the hills. I love you. You're awesome. My black brothers and sisters, I love you. And I'm glad to be one of you. And um, just have a really, really great weekend, okay? All right, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to shut up now. Good night.